It would be a trick question for me to ask which of the fingerprints above are ulnar loops and which are radial loops. We have spent a considerable amount of time learning how to recognize whirls, arches, loops, and tenet arches. We also know from our recording activities that there are more loop patterns than other patterns. It's widely published that approximately 60% of the patterns are loops. Now we're going to learn how to recognize radial loops and ulnar loops, and we're going to rely upon our basic hand bone structure to do this. We've learned to recognize the two bones of the arm, the radius bone and the ulna bone. The radius bone is on the thumb side of the hand, and the term radial is used as an adjective to describe that location. The ulna bone is on the little finger side of the hand, and the term ulnar is used as an adjective to describe that location. So now we will use the ulnar and radial descriptions to recognize the ridge flow of loops. I have inked my fingerprints and placed them flat on the paper so that we can try to interpret if I have radial loops, ulnar loops, or possibly both types of loops. Now let me slide the hands away to reveal the fingerprints. Here is an enlarged view of my right and left hand exemplars. What is important here is you can recognize the right and left hand depositions by the stair-step placement of the fingers. I've enlarged and separated them so that you do not get confused in this explanation. As you know, the left-hand fingers are on the left side. You can see the finger arrangement and the stair-step formation. It's also visible on the right side. Let's do some pattern type recognition here and begin with the left index finger. You should recognize that as being a whirl pattern and that it has an elliptical or oval formation. The other three fingerprints are clearly loop patterns. Notice how they all three slant in the same direction. Look carefully at finger number eight or the left middle finger. Notice how the ridges begin on the little finger side, rise and recurve and return to the little finger side of the hand. Since the ridges begin and terminate from the little finger side of the hand, it is considered an ulnar loop. The other two fingers slant just like that finger, and we can determine that all three fingers are ulnar loops. Let's do some more pattern type recognition here and immediately begin with the right ring finger or number nine finger. Clearly, that print is a whirl pattern and it has a somewhat oval formation. Next, let's look at the right middle finger, recognizing it as a loop formation, and the right little finger is also a loop pattern. Both of those prints ridges begin, rise, recurve, and return to the little finger or ulnar side of the hand. The interesting pattern in this inquiry is the right index finger. It's obviously a loop, but it slants in the opposite direction of the other two loops. You should see the ridges beginning on the thumb or radial side of the hand. They rise, recurve, and return in a completely different formation from the other prints. The thumbprint patterns here in the plain impressions require a somewhat different observation because there are no fingers besides them. 
The print on the left is a left thumbprint and a loop pattern. Since the ridges begin, rise, recurve, and return to the little finger side, this is an ulnar loop. The print on the right is a whirl pattern. It does have the tendencies of an ulnar loop, however, if you recognize how the ridges flow. Quite often, whirls will slant toward the little finger or the ulnar side of the hand, just like loops. Let's look at a grayscale photograph of my left hand fingers. Remember these will be mirror images of deposited inked fingerprints. This is not like looking at a set of inked fingerprints. Clearly you can see the left middle finger and left ring finger loops slant toward the little finger side of the hand. If you are wondering what is on my left index finger, it's just wood glue that could easily be, be mistaken for a skin condition. I cleaned it off after this photo session. This is a photograph of my right hand fingers. Recognize again how the right index finger and right middle finger loops flow in opposite directions. The index finger is the radial loop, as you know the thumb although out of the picture, is on the right side of the hand. Let's review a series of simultaneous prints and determine which patterns are radials and which are ulnar loops. The first pattern we'll look at, determine what the hand is. It's the left hand, and can you see any radial loops? All of these patterns are ulnar loops in that they slant to the left little side. Next set, determine the pattern types. Now do you see a radial loop here? Okay, these three are ulnar loops and this is the radial loop as it is slanting towards the thumb side. Okay, this is a right hand. Do you recognize the ulnar and radial loops here? Quite easy, these are the ulnar loops and this is the radial loop. Okay, examine these prints and what do you see? You should determine that all of these are ulnar loops. They flow in the same direction. This is another set and can you recognize that there is a whirl? And the other patterns are loops and which type? Which type are they? They're all ulnar loops. They're slanting this way and we know it's the left hand. Okay, this is a little more interesting. Do you recognize the radial loop? Okay, the radial loop is the left index finger. This is the left hand. And these are the ulnar loops. This possibly could be a tented arch here. Okay, we've got a right hand here. What are the two loops? This is a ulnar loop and this is an ulnar loop. They slant towards the little finger. Are there any radial loops in here? We've got a whirl here, we've got a loop, we've got a whirl and a loop, and both of the loops are slanting towards the little finger side, 
And if you'll also notice, the whorls also slant in that same direction. If you will recognize the slant here and here. Okay, this is the right hand. Do you recognize any radial loops? Hopefully not. These are all ulnar loops slanting in the same direction. I hope by now you're understanding that all you have to do is look for the one loop in the opposite direction and that gives you a clue that it's going to probably be a radial. Okay, next set. Do you see any radial loops? All of these are ulnar loops. Okay, this is the right hand. Do you see any radial loops? No, these are all ulnar loops. There's a what appears to be a scar here. But these are all slanted in the same direction. Okay, what about this one? Do you see any radial loops? I hope you recognize that this is the left hand. And as far as a radial loop, you should recognize that this is the radial here. So the left index finger is a radial loop. Okay, do you see any radial loops here? Well, this is a whirl. That's a whirl. This appears to be a whirl here. And the only loop we have is slanting towards the right, towards the little finger. So that is a ulnar or radial loop or ulnar loop, excuse me. And there are no radials. Let's see if I can narrate this one better. What do you see? Hopefully you immediately see that these are all on our loops from the right hand. Here's another set. What do you recognize? Well, all these are slanting in the same angle and this one is in the opposite direction. So that would be your radial loop in the right index finger. Okay, do you see any radial loops here? These three are in the same direction and this is going in the opposite direction, therefore this is your radial. Do you see any radials here? This is the left hand. And you should recognize this as being a loop. It's slanting towards the little finger here. And that's a whirl, that's a whirl, and so is that. Okay, do you recognize the radial here? Which one is the radial? None of them. Okay, do you recognize the radial loop here? We have this one slanting towards the little finger this one and this one also and this slants to the right however it's a whirl so there are three ulnar loops in this array okay how difficult is this one they're all going in the same direction and they're all ulnars what about this one what do you see Well, I see three ulnar loops here. This is the right hand, and this one going in the opposite direction is the radial. This one's quite easy. They're all going in the same direction, and they're all ulnar loops of the left hand. This one is rather easy, too. They're all ulnar loops in the right hand. Can you see the radial loop here? Is there a radial loop on this array? 
The answer is no, they're all ulnar loops, and the whorl is actually slanting like an ulnar loop. Okay, where's the radial here? This is a whorl, that's a whorl, that's a whorl, and that's a loop, and it's slanting towards the little finger, so therefore there's no radials. Okay, are there any radials here? We've got a loop, a loop, a whorl, and this looks like a loop and it's properly slanted towards the little finger, so there's no radials there. Okay, do you see a radial here? I see a plain arch, a whorl, a loop, and a loop, and the two loops are ulnars. This concludes the ulnar radial uh, assessment, and you'll have additional exercises that will be more difficult than this.